Welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about the different types of ego defense and how to differentiate between them. 9 out of 10 in the exam, you will be asked about ego defenses and it's real simple, you shouldn't miss any marks in here. So let's start. First, we'll talk about the immature ego defenses and we'll start with displacement. In displacement, for example, a husband is having a bad day at work and he comes home and yells at his wife. And the wife cannot, for example, yell back at her husband, so she goes and yells at her son. And the son cannot yell at his mother, so he goes and sabotages his toys and destroys them. So basically, the negative energy goes from one person to the next. Identification is very simple. Just remember that the abused child will become an abuser when he grows up. Isolation of effect is the ability to separate feelings from ideas. And it's commonly seen in soldiers after the war, how they are able to describe graphic scenes like it's nothing, or in surgeons after they've done big surgeries and describe graphic scenes like it's nothing as well. In projection, one would accuse others of unwanted feelings he has. So for example, a husband would cheat on his wife, and he goes home and accuses his wife of cheating. Rationalization is giving excuses to get away from blame. So for example, somebody who's working in a company and he's doing really poorly in job and he's always absent, so they fire him and he goes home and tells his family and his friends that he didn't want the job anyway and they didn't pay him well or the place was horrible or whatever. Reaction formation is having actions different from feelings. So for example, a mother that says that she doesn't care about her stepson and that she doesn't want him in the house and he's such a burden to her, but at the same time she's planning his birthday party and she's caring about his school, she's asking him what did he eat for lunch. So basically actions opposing feelings. Repression is involuntarily forgetting a stressful life event to cope with it. It's just another way of dealing with strong stress. Dissociation is temporary drastic change in personality to avoid blame or to avoid dealing with stress. So for example, a loving and caring husband would one day cheat on his wife and goes home and changes his personality completely to become careless and avoidant, to avoid dealing with this blame. Splitting is saying that all these people are good and all those people are bad. So for example, saying all doctors are good and all nurses are bad. Fixation is being stuck at one point of age, so for example a child who is 15 years old and he's playing video games all the time and he's making tantrums for everything and when he grows up to be 25 years old and he's still playing video games all the time and he still makes tantrums all the time. Regression is actually different from fixation and it's very important to know the difference. Regression is basically an adult who is not, who is grown, grown up from being a child and then after having a, a very strong stress in his life, he goes back to being a child. So unlike fixation, regression have had a period in his life in which he was an adult. Intellectualization is basically using facts to avoid feeling blame or to avoid, to avoid feeling bad for certain subjects. So for example, a patient who was diagnosed recently with cancer and whenever somebody would ask him about his state or how he feels, he just told them that, oh, doctor said that cancer is, for example, this big and they said that the survival rate is this much and he just gives you facts whenever he wants to talk about something that is stressful for him. Passive aggressive needs no definition, it's just being subtly hostile. Idealization is thinking of someone or something as completely perfect and ignoring all its flaws. Acting out is basically making a tantrum. And last, a mature defense is denial, which is basically avoiding a painful reality, and it's commonly seen in patients newly diagnosed with either HIV or cancer. Now we have four mature defenses and the first one is sublimation which is basically transferring bad energy into good energy. So for example, somebody who goes home and his father is yelling at him all the time and telling him that he's a failure in life or whatever and he goes back to school and performs really really well in, and performs really well in sport. Altruism is putting others first. 
suppression is actively and temporarily pushing back a bad idea or bad thought until it's time to care about it. So for example, somebody who just got out of step one exam and he doesn't think about the exam whatsoever until the results come out. He doesn't talk about the exam, he doesn't discuss anything until the, exam, the results come out. And finally, humor. Alright guys, so that's everything I've got. Um, I know it's kind of a long topic, but it's really, really important to understand all these and be able to differentiate between them. And also, thank you guys for 700 subscribers. This is really mind-blowing. Thank you very much. And yeah, see you guys later.